if you don't know this information, however. Um, it's I think it's quite easy to tell. WGS, on the other hand, they're going to need to scrim this patch like indefinitely because they need wins. It's going to be Mecha Base to start us off with. O2 Blast going out with some uh, dive goats with the Sombra. Not too much of a surprise. WGS got the May instead. Yeah, going up against the May, they're going to have to use the verticality of O2 Blast to get their way around that wall. It looks like looking up against the May, they're like, okay, we don't want to take this fight. We're going to go and swap. They put Kaiser up onto a Rhine. Far easier to isolate with that wall, but they want to take the fight in the neutral here with Krong on the Diva. They think it'll give them the expert brawl out power, and why not? This is what we know O2 Blast to be great at. Gabe is going to have to be quick on the draw with that wall when these engages come through. He's not uh, quick enough. And he's not quick enough. Yeah, I don't think he even got anything. It looked like he got the Zen, but he managed to slip his way through. Normally, the Zen's the one that's uh, kept behind. Then we're done with them going down, though. Ace is soon to follow, but the rest of OG Blast going towards the point. They do manage to cap it first up here, but WGS losing their Zarya does mean that Reinhardt's going to be in a little bit more danger from Kaiser. who's just stepping up to the plate. He's going to get almost frozen in place, but receives a bubble from his Zarya to keep him alive. A big boot pin. Doesn't quite fight it just yet. Kaiser's tracking of Gable C was pretty stellar there, but Endercast does manage to kill him off in the end. O2 Blast now popping the rally also. Big pin from... Well, he tried to. I think that actually... Did that bubble. I'm not entirely sure that connected. Okay, it was a bubble that came through. Endercast... Manages to find him, but there's no real damage coming out onto the brig, and the rally's fully out as well. All the armor was building up that entire time. WGS need to find a pick here. Kaiser's back into the fight once again. Self-destruct on top. Mixed with the blizzard. Finally, O2 Blast are getting cleared out. A Graviton Surge is going to get thrown out in the meantime by proper, but all this time, O2 Blast is controlling the point. Yeah, they used the sandbar as well. Extra staying power. Krong's going to have the transcendence too. There's two transcendences coming out as well. Hey, he's going to gonna have this grab. Eat it in. It was Eaten. It's going to get eaten. Oh, Krong. Oh, disastrous of WGS. It looks so good. They killed off another person in time. They, it was a 5v6 this entire time from O2 Blast. Gable C even had the blizzard as well. Oh, disaster. That's the one thing you didn't want to happen. Your grab getting eaten in that situation. And all that meantime, Harry, that, that uh, percent back was building up. They're on 75% now. Great awareness there from Krong. And Mjumbo actually came back from spawn after getting picked early. Got himself a pick on the backside. He had a big flank on the enemy and they didn't expect it to be coming back that way. Everyone's going to disengage. Back to the point now. Give up the high ground to WGS because they know that they don't have a huge amount of power running down from here. That forces Enercast to come on down. He's going to have to go man versus man with Kaiser who's got a lot more support down on the ground. Early rally. Kaiser again. Boop around again. Really early ice box from Gable C. There is going to be the Shatter. It does find one in the back and it's enough to clear everybody else up. O2 Blast now 99%. All they need to do is kill off the last couple of people. Gable C. Again, another tragedy really. It was 2% off his uh, off his Blizzard. That was that's half a second of a right click. Or sorry, a left click or like one right click just guarantees that ult maybe he throws it out maybe he stops the shatter from kaiser and it would have flipped around but did manage to get out in time and it does mean o2 blast will end up claiming mecha base jumping under sanctuary as our next one o2 blast again kind of hovering this uh, winston goats instead let's uh, let's share a little bit of story with those at home man i've watched season one uh, the, the Pelican Mandu Myumbong Triple Poach, as we called it, was one of the most interesting turns of events in the entirety of Season 1, Jaws. They all came from WGS, who were at that time WGS Armament, a partnership between two organizations. So these guys are sort of like up against some members of our old team right now. It's only really Gable C, who has remained there. There's been a lot of replacement of the other players since then. But Pelican, Mandu, and Myumbong is definitely a huge triple pickup for O2 Blast. And you can expect to see Myumbong and Mandu without a doubt in Overwatch League 2020. Cool. Ace is checked rather rapidly. He didn't get any charge off him whatsoever. O2 Blast going standard 3-3. Three, three. WGS have the Sombra, of course. Does mean O2 Blast really have the priority and just kind of running into the enemy team. They're doing just that. Valentine goes extremely low. Ace still on the back line. Farming away, though. Is going to get checked once more. Has that mini health pack hacked on the right-hand side, so it's not going to be too much of an issue for him to skirt back and instantly rejoin his team. Krong, Mando, and Pelican doing a good job of that, but there it is for pick on some Yonbong. This could be exactly what's required, but O2 Blast, they have control of a the point. They don't have as much presence with only two tank stores. 
Yeah, I don't know, man. There's going to be a lot of damage coming out now. Uh, Discord all disappearing. Komoto Blast Monday is going to have to come. Yombo is going to have to come back even. Shadow does hit the ground from Kaiser. He tries to go for the Flame Strike, but it gets cancelled. And the Transcendence even coming out fairly early for WGS. They really won't claim at this point. And it'll be the first time in this map as well if they do manage to do it. OG Blast coming back with Vengeance, though. They do have beat. They also have. Uh, Transcenders coming online rather soon. WGS finally pandering a little bit. They're backing off ever so slightly. Ace is near the EMP. Good disengage versus that trance, but now Myombong has one of his own. They can force the issue, but they don't have to. They just have to survive on the point, and they've got everything they need to do that. They can answer Gables' grab however they would wish. They've got the early hack on the Pelican. Just coming out. There's the EMP as well. There's going to get one support hacked. Myombong is going to have to scurry away, but Mandu still holding on to that beat. A Graviton Surge was invested from O2 Blast, and that was all that they needed. WGS now backing off. That was a really strange placement, I must say, of the of the EMP there. It was like, okay, I guess we go for counter EMP on the grab, but it didn't really hit anybody that was in the front line, or not significantly anyway, to make them back off. And now O2 Blast up to almost 70% on the board. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen a support ultimate be available for WGS in that case, so they could survive the grab while the EMP was active. And O2 Blast are building up the Salt Bank. We've got four ready to go. Still Gables is going to be looking in a way to weave in this Graviton Surge, doing his best Sigma impression as he moves he on to Kaiser. He manages to do it, so those self-destruct is going to be thrown by O2 Blast in the back line. Nice slam, but straight into Kaiser's shield. In return for O2 Blast, WGS is going to send out one of their own as well. Both rallies are going off too. Everybody going to be so hard to take down at this point, but O2 Blast, this is perfect for them. Controlling this point up to 99% is exactly what they want to do. Pelican moving forward gets erased by Gable C. Uh, however, they do end up trading the tank somehow. Ender Cast ends up going down. Myumbo finding the kill and proper throwing out the grab, finding another easy cleanup for O2 Blast. They lost so early. They lost all their support so early, Harry. O2 Blast is just going to take the map. Complete clean sweep. 200 to 0 on Busan. But you can kind of see why now they're now 0 and 3. WGS. Losing these fights like 6v5 some of the time. How did Myungbong even kill off the main tank in that situation? I don't know. Conversely, you can see why O2 Blast are currently 3-0. and And this was about as dominant as you could expect a first place versus an 8th place team to be. 200 to 0. They got the hack onto Mandu, but it was on top of a drum. So he was safe. He just had a little bit of a... He had a bit of a crouch and had some fun. <laughs> so I'll be up here. Well, I'm... A 200 to 0 on Busan for O2 Blast. We'll see if WGS can come back after this break. Hey guys, welcome back to BGS versus O2 Blast and 200 to 0, rather quick round of Busan. I'm not even sure that I'm going to be honest. That, that small delay we have on the stream, if I if I looked back, Harry, I'd probably still see the <laughs> it's, first, it's uh, first round. 
Yeah, exactly. I probably didn't see the first round. We're probably just going over to Sanctuary at this point if I look to the stream, but <laughs> WGS now going on to Voskyra Industries. And how are they going to come back from this one? I'm not entirely sure. O2 Blast still as dominant as ever, it seems. Yeah, O2 Blast on Voskyra is another thing I have fond memories of. And when I think of fond memories here, I think Krong on Hanzo. And that's how you beat Runaway. You take out the Titans. You deny them another contender's title. That's exactly what they did back in the playoffs of season one. I'm wondering if it's going to be as quick versus WGS. It seems like that's going to be the case. And O2 Blast right now, they're not feeling pressured to bring anything out, right? They're just like, okay, just going to play 3-3. Three, three. We're not going to give you guys any clues what we're going to bring into the playoffs. It can't be 3-3, three, three, but they're so good at this. They've got no reason to change, especially if they're like spending a lot of time scrimming other compositions. They could probably fall back on that 3-3 three, three and know they're still as good at it. There we go, jumping into the game. Now, Kaiser and the gang are going to be attacking first. It was the decision of uh, the losing team, so G uh, WGS wanted to defend, which is a bit odd because we do normally see, especially in EU, it's the trend that if you do end up losing the first map, you always want to attack first and then kind of set the pace for the rest of the game, but not so much here. Now, WGS, what are they going to run out with? Because they did try and do the Sombra, but Ace got, what, one EMP? And it was it rather great. misplaced. Like their their entire their team got grabbed. And it was like okay, so AMP and then OG Blast supports didn't even feel like they needed to use the beats or the transcendence that Mumble was hacked uh, during that EMP. But regardless, he wasn't even taken down during it, even though he had like you know sub two HP probably. I mean, at the end of the day, if you're not even forcing supports to use ults in response to it, or like forcing them to hide away so they can respond to the EMP. Is uh, a bit of a bit of an off one, if you ask me. WGS on the defense, though, Harry, going with triple DPS uh, with the ball instead. Well, Ace is still on that Sombra, and I want to talk a little bit about how O2 Blast deals with EMPs, because we know that in Korea, a lot of teams like to run the Sombra 3 2 1, but Pelican and Myeongbong have been playing together for so long. They're super good at being spread out enough that either Pelican gets hacked by an EMP and they get the trance from Myeongbong or Myeongbong gets hacked and they instantly get the armor pack from Pelican. They have that mutually assured survival by, by being a little bit further away from each other. And it means that they don't get the chance to cancel EMPs with shield bash that are on top of your Zen, like sometimes you'd see with supports, but it's given them a lot more consistent survivability against this. OG Blast just had a little bit of a looky, and now they want to bring out Proper on the Widow for a single yeah. shot. He keeps doing that. He keeps switching over to the Widowmaker. He was out of the gate first up as the Widow with the Mercy damage boost trying to take a shot. It's, uh, no, it's kind of smart doing that just because if you do get the pick off, you can quite easily just forego your team and let the, the team rush the Rising Mercy down. But he didn't end up taking out Valentine at all. Well, Apparachi, it was see trying to get a bit of extra damage down on Tracer. It's going to be fairly hard for him to all do all of anything here. He has to run into proper Pelican and Kaizo on the Winston. They are just going to control the Mega Health Pack room, though, for the time being. Ace got stunned out, forced to translocate, won't be a member of this fight for a while, and Kais is going to try and claim the high ground here. Being out rotated, though. Noah's getting away. Oparochi can always back him up, should it be required. He's on top of him now, though. Uh-oh, please run. Back please, up. someone help him. He's going to nade himself, actually. Nice little sleep, but run straight back into Kaiser because he had nowhere else to go. Unfortunate situation. No backup and no peel for Noah. And now, O2 Blast are going to just sit on the point. EMP available, gets chugged out. The barrage is going to come through as well. Finally, Valentine doing something on his Farah. Manages to find two. Press Q to die button. Not so apparent today. O2 Blast still control a majority of the point as well. And Kaiser is actually nanoed right now. So WGS have to just get on the point to stop it going over completely. In fact, it's going to be the Farah Mercy. It's going to be up to them to kind of keep touching. But Kaiser takes out Operati from the skies. Mjumbo will end up going down eventually. And Kaiser is going to swiftly get cleaned up. Or at least gets away for the time being. But WGS doing enough damage for him to make sure he can't stay on the point. They're going to have to get Scurry back to the point rather fast, though. O2 Blast coming in once again. Got to give credit there oh, to Ace Pulse for the Bomb EMP generation. Is so good at the game, dude. How is he so good at hitting right click? Like, well, he's how? Basically, I, I he's, don't he's understand. Baby Fury. He's going to be able to use his self-destruct as well. He can follow in Kaiser right here. He's made the dive, but right now he's not going to commit. Instead, he's waiting for the Bob's EMP to come EMP. out from proper. Yeah, there it is. Easy cleanup. You don't stand a chance on the Wrecking Ball. They only need one tick as well. Gable C is going to go down. And now Valentine in trouble. Gets whipped out of the air by Jungbong and Pelican. And that is the rest of WGS going to get cleaned up. Ace at least has got another EMP to stem the bleeding of this next push. But O2 Blast rolling onto second. 
Ace in the back right now. Maybe he's had to translocate back into the midst of his back line. Kaiser right now, though, is all about going after the evil toaster Orissa. Yeah. I'd, oh, the EMP. Oh, Edocast did not see that one coming. Mana boost on the... On the far, though, that should do a little bit of extra damage here. And a resurrection does come through onto NOK, so at least he's back up and alive. Barrage is available from Valentine as well. Just going to take O2 Blast, the big pick here, to try and find anything. But that could just be it. Gable C does end up going down. Now, Krong with the Nana Boost running straight Ooh, into the Arissa. Yeah, this is why you don't play Arissa in a corner, man. You just get bullied, and the rest of your team just ends up dying. Uh, there's going to be a dive straight onto the hacked far as well. Nice Look little bit the of block. block in there coming through. That's pretty big. Self Destruct just going to come out. Krong ends up going down. Valentine's still alive somehow. Upperachi manages to body block. An entire diva from killing Valentine. Big brain plays from the Far of Mercy. And O2 Blast don't get a tick on the second point just yet. OP Rochi on a mad one right now. Enakas also able to survive a little bit using that Fortify when he got sort of like pushed into the corner. He is just doing the evil toaster right now as it's become known across uh, Overwatch Reddit. So he's over in the corner with his shield. His job right now with this triple dps is just to make sure no one's getting point progress making sure that the dps aren't forced to give up their space to rotate onto the point and noah's having to invest so much in keeping him alive but it's worth it right oh sonic arrow on kaiser he just leaped through the air he's getting hacked as well <laughs> he's all right there's the EMP to send Valentine and Apparachi down to the ground. And now they just have to get up this Arisa. You have to force him off the point somehow. He's going to get fortified. anti nade does land, but all that damage is going to get negated, or at least most of it is. Noah ends up falling as well. And now O2 Blast trying to make a move onto the point. Valentine going extremely low and gets taken out by Pelican. And now the rest of WGS going back onto the point. Aces with the EMP as well. And Dukas tries to get a supercharger down, but does little to nothing. EMP is going to come through on the point. O2 Blast all hacked up. But Kaiser standing strong in the front line. Has even got the Primal Rage. O2 Flash with two ticks on the board as well. He's got the Primal Rage and he's got Banana Boost as well. And Akas gets broken on down into his constituent parts. And O2 Blast will eventually cap this point, but a lot slower than we expected given what we saw on Control. A good attempt from WGS to keep this contested with this DPS composition, which I need to remind you is illegal. Three DPS won't be available for playoffs. Unfortunately so. Or rather fortunate, I don't know. 2 is very much... Um, I, I think it's a complete benefit to the game. It's going to suck maybe a little bit not seeing triple DPS, but it's going to make everything a whole lot more consistent and easier to balance, of course. Yeah, for WGS. sure. WGS. Ah, oh dear. What do you do here? What do you do here? Valentine dies with Barrage, but then you don't want to get Barrage off unless they're emp otherwise you just instantly die. Endercast just gets bullied as well, and Robert just has... All the space in the world, it feels like. There's nothing really challenging him whatsoever. I mean, who is actually going to challenge him, to be fair? Endercast? No, he's sitting in a corner behind a shield. Valentine? No, because he's up in the air on the fire trying to deal damage to the backline and the tanks. It just leads the Sombra to do whatever she pleases in the backline, and that's one of the main reasons why you're able to get these fast EMPs off. Ace, however, on the other side, was able to build up them in rather similar times, it's just his usage of them seems a little bit off still. I like the targeted usage coming through from O2 Blast just to take out Valentine and Alparachi as well. It's uh, pretty intelligent. Just getting that, getting rid of that means that you're basically free to do any damage to the Arista you so choose. Okay, everyone needs to pay close attention to Pelican on this Farah here. We know him as a pretty good projectile DPS, but this needs to be a bit of a preview of what we could see in playoffs from him. Proper's going to be on for Widowmaker. He's going to make sure that anyone coming through from WGS is going to be checked. There's no shield available for WGS, so Oparochi, Valentine, and Noah here could be in trouble if they test the Widowmaker, who's in a quite safe position. Going to give that up, wants to take a different angle, so he's not as expected. Look at this, the flank coming through. Great observing right here. Valentine and Oparochi having a quick crouch. They want to try and get the drop potentially on the enemy pharmacy. And he's going to spot them out eventually. I mean, you're going to hear those thrusters from a mile away, to be fair. They're still crouching around this corner, man. Got to make sure they don't get their heads taken clean off by proper. There we go. Now they've heard them. Or well, they at least must have. Proper's going to get jumped on by the ball. Nice little sleep dart. Pretty hard to hit the ball's head, though. It's still rather small. No two blasts now. Kind of scurrying for cover around this mega health pack, which is hacked. But no, it's going to be the first casualty of war as Pelican ends up finding the kill. The hack on that mega health pack is so important as well. It means that Myumbong can keep himself sustained without requiring Mandu to come down to him. That means Mandu can always be with Pelican. you got to run away, Gable, so you can't Bye -bye. escape. The Pharah from the 
This guy. It looks like he has actually managed to get away somehow. Maybe he's on a long chase. Someone's in the back. <laughs> he's on the longest flank in the history of flanks. This is a pure... So well, not quite, but it looks like a Surly Q flank right here. Oh, my Lord. They, they must have hired a tall guy. WGS in O2 spawn. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what? I mean, Edocast, I guess his plan here is just knock everybody off. Valentine's going to have a lot of cover here, but the rest of O2 Blast is just tearing everybody else to mincemeat. Edocast ends up going down, and they're still going to sit on the point, and Proper knows where everybody is now, activating the sights. Mandu dead, though. He could be spawn camped, especially with the current positioning of WGS. It may have to be someone going back to pick him up, maybe in the form of Pelican, but he's not going to be in the healing sightline of the Ana. Proper. Gonna catch our game also here. And Vera's the pharmacy. Can you take it on us of solo Farah? Pelican's gonna try it. Oh, he's gonna get nanoed. Proper's nanoed. Hit the shots. Easy kill. Oh, he doesn't make it. Oh, the nano all but wasted. SMG not doing too much, but he vanishes to finish him up with a scope kill. Valentine eventually going down. Nice sleep dart dodge by Proper there as well. Noah just. Jesus, he's uh, going in for the Matrix 4 there, auditions, or at least trying to. O2 Blast now still controlling the point. One minute and 30 seconds now remains for WGS. Nano SMG would have. That's what we call artisanal gameplay, Jaws. The damage boosted rocket from Pelican will instantly end Gearballs his life. It does more than 150 damage. And look, they spotted out the flank once again. Ace could, uh, Kron here could even just EMP them into the water, potentially. Just, that would be, that, that'd be pretty <laughs> BM. <laughs> that'd be the best just, highlight we've seen all year. Right, yeah, he knows he's, they are. he's weighing it up. What are we going to do, boys? Where are we dropping? In the water, I hope. Oh, Valentine's here as well. Oh, no. Valentine had to get out alive, but he's not going to make it. Pelican, just with a big wrap around, should be able to get off the Mercy, although she's going to get healed up by Noah. However, in the meantime, Pelican's just going to drop the barrage. <laughs> Beautiful sleep up by Noah, though. He saw that coming a mile off. Proper is going to go down as well, mind you. A hack onto Pelican. He's going to drop to the floor once again. Now, dueling out with the Mercy isn't going to be a fan of that one. Mandu actually just left him to die, basically. Supercharge is going to go down as well. WGS have a couple more attacks left, potentially, if they stall this one out. 30 seconds now remains. Gable C is going to go down first, though. There it is. Ace is probably also going to get cleaned up. Oh, my Lord. A point blank barrage wasn't even required. He killed him with a rocket. Valentine not getting much value there apart from the zone. Guys are still on point, and 20 seconds remain, Jaws. It's looking messy in here. Okay, no more staggered fights available. Mandu ends up going down. WGS are going to have to start capping the point, and they're doing just that. Nano, bro Nano on Valentine is going to go down, though, as he was anti-nated. Gable sees coming back with revenge. Pelican's going to fall, and eventually Kaiser gets killed as well. WGS finally capping the point, or at least I hope so. O2 Blast can't really touch at this point. There's no way there could be a, a 1v6 scenario. They're going to get four minutes added to their time bank. And O2 Blast recessing their ult economy as well. Krong has got 50% on that ult. That EMP is going to come up fairly soon, I can imagine. But myungbon has got the nano, and that's all they got for this next push. Snowball potential not looking great right now for WGS. Ace needs to get another 20% for EMP. Maybe that will help work it out for him. Enokas is back on the Arissa, maybe playing the offensive toaster. He can put himself still into a corner. But of course, when he's got that long sight line behind him, it's much easier for Noah to be able to heal him from the safety of the entry doorway. Pelican, right now, he's looking at a lot of threats. Noah's free to plink away with him at, with that Bardic Rifle, but he's been taken out by Chrome. All right. Nano boost onto Kaiser as well. That's all they needed. Krog's going to get taken down regardless, though, but better spawns for the defenders, of course. Ace has the EMP. We'll see if they want to go rather quickly as Noah gets rezzed. Okay, Ace with the EMP. Who does he want to hit here? Likely Mandu and Pelican bring them out of the air. Then you can try and He's maybe for it. take there them it out. There it is. EMP in the skies. Mandu and Pelican drop to the floor. Can they actually find the kills, though? That is the question. That hack is going to run out rather shortly. There it goes. So Pelican and Mandu can sail up into the sky once again. Aparachi using the ultimate to heal everybody up on his team. Finally, Mando and Pelican end up falling. Barrage available for Valentine as well. Might you want to go for the solo? Yes, they, he does. Mianboy ends up going down. The rest of the rockets spread towards that mega health pack room. Kron has got the EMP, throws the Transicator up into the skies, manages to find a nice couple of hacks, but instantly gets taken out. Pelican with the counter barrage on Aparachi does end up falling himself, though, as Ace finds the kill. Kaiser's going to get hacked as well on the entry. Even in the primal rage, man, you're still going to feed a whole bunch of ult. And now it's WGS. They have to just stay alive and stabilize here to secure this last 1%. Proper needs to heal up on that Doom Fist for now. It's down to Pelican to keep this contest. He's in the corner, but he hasn't got a mech left. Uh, EMP, goodbye. There's going to be a Doom Fist coming in. Insta kill onto Proper. 
No worries. Mana gets taken out as well. And WGS, they do find the second cap. So we are going to additional rounds here. Again, it was all about stabilizing as soon as you get onto that second point. And as soon as that rally comes out as well, by the way, I'm sure you've had it in your Q games before, but there's a situation where, okay, so we're pretty much all dead. Two of us can touch point. There's a rally. Well, we basically lose now because we can't chew through the armor. And that's basically what happened to O2 Blast there. And I love the barrage uses of Valentine here. Just getting the solo onto Myungbong, guaranteeing yourself that kill. Valentine also always goes for the rocket before he uses the barrage as well to try and make sure that he can deal any additional damage and reduce any potential for reaction time. And I thought there may have been the chance for O2 Blast to take it back there after they got a pick onto Oparochi, so no resurrections were available. You were looking at no healing being available for Ana unless a body grid was used defensively. But overwhelming target calls from the side of WGS were much in their favor. They managed to take out everyone as they came in. We saw a Diva Met come in, last basically half a second, and then getting EMP'd as well. Basically, some great target focus there from WGS helped them to seal it out. They've got two minutes on the time bank, a minute and three seconds left, uh, less than O2 Blast. And they may try and go for the same approach again, but they know they can't afford to go for these stealthy approaches they went for in previous rounds. They just don't have the time bank, if that goes wrong, to try it again. That's like Was a one and done. Krong, because it has uh, infinite stealth here, which is a change that was made a long, long time ago. Just gives up so much information. I definitely thought this was going to be uh, a change where it oh, affects the pro scene more than anything else. Yeah, they're going to be over the top. Pelican's going to be able to call that out. But I thought it was going to be a change that would affect the pro scene more often than uh, more over than like solo queue because the information you can gather in a pro in a pro game is going to be so much more valuable than it is in a solo queue uh, kind of uh, environment. WGS now kind of pelting away at the shield. They do have Endercast behind though, Harry. Pharmacy duel going on in the sky. They are going to manage to take out Myumbong. That's so crucial, Jaws. Maybe they can go for a res though. Oh, that was so close. Oberachi almost goes down to Kaiser's just left click. He's going to get bullied here, but still sitting on this mega health back. Oberachi does end up going down. Both Sombra's finding the kills on the Mercy. Now dead. Kaiser plants himself on the point. As Shield's going to come out as well, but Ace is tearing the front line apart of O2 Blast. Kaiser's going to fall as well. As soon as they see Liz go down, man, it's all on the offense, doing as much damage as they can, then trickling back onto this point. Exactly what they just did. And WGS will cap first with a minute to spare as well. Yeah, that was much faster than their first attack. They didn't spend any time messing around, trying to get things going with these long flanks. They made sure that Valentine had the attention. He was very easily spotted out by Pelican. Everyone's looking at that Farrow. That gives Ace and Gabe Balsi time to go around the back and try and make things work. Now, Ace, he has his base of operation set up with this hacked health back and translocator as well. Time to build up towards that EMP. It's going to be needed if you're going to try and cap the second point. Valentine will be able to get some value from this barrage, but he's still got a little bit of time to go to build up towards that as Kaiser swapped over onto the Winston. There's going to be a lot of cleave here. He's going to be trying to go on to Noah, and he's straight in. Yeah, he dodged into the bat line. Krong gets spotted out there, just trying to go for a manual hack. Kaiser's going to get manual hacked as well, but the double pocket wasn't quite enough to save him. As Valentine is now going to get nanoed up in the sky, but EMP's going to hit, sending him to the ground. Does a nice little manual rocket jump up onto the high ground. Gets him out of danger rather swiftly and probably actually finds a kill onto Gable C. However, WGS in the back line got that barrage. One's going to go down. Krong and Mandu already falling here. Great Bad bubble. Isn't getting a lot of damage off, but Kaiser with the bubble instantly killing him off. Pelican's going to go down as well as nowhere ends up taking him out. WGS lifeline right now. They've got 17 seconds. They can't get back onto the point and they don't really have the reinforcements to do it. Noah could be in very much a lot of trouble here. Proper gets healed up and they're trying to duel it out, but he's got the reinforcements. You've got to get out of there, Proper. 1v4 is too much, even for you. They're going to make Proper's a bad dash. Oh, he sticks it! The long range stick. Oh, he didn't kill anybody, though. Oh, it's so good. I think it landed on the ball. Who ends up getting taken out anyway? The bio grenade sealing the deal on his life. All those assists as well onto Proper. Mardu Pop and the ultimate, too. Rather impenetrable now, this base is. Overtime is ticking through. One tick now acquired from WGS on their next attack if they do get one. O2 Blast going to clear everybody else out. Gable C is going to fall to Primal Rage. And now it's the slow trickle game for WGS getting onto this point. See if they can find picks, but too much healing and too much sustain and uh, tanky bodies on the point for O2 Blast. Should be a rather easy one. There we go. Round three complete. As O2 Blast manages to fend on the second point. Now, what they need to do is get first and then get a little bit after the first tick, and they do end up securing match point in the series. Luckily, though, for WGS, they did get 38%. That means that if they do lose first, this is not 
a play for the draw scenario so you can play for the win on second scenario and three minutes is by no means a unwinnable scenario for wgs there's a lot of worlds in which this could go to uh one one at the half which would be incredibly surprising given what we saw in our control map 200 to zero to o2 blast and it did take them about four minutes and 51 seconds to take it the last time WGS are going to once again try and defend with this DPS composition. They feel that if they could force O2 Blast to go into these brawls with them, but it's a little bit more even. Going 3-3 versus 3-3 against O2 Blast, doesn't matter what team you are, whether you're WGS or Runaway, it may be a foolhardy approach. WGS on the defense with the same old, same old, it looks like. No defensive ultimates, which is obviously kind of an issue. You're kind of relying on Operati actually getting his ult off in time in order to heal the rest of the team up, team up but then it um, it means that a lot of the team is going to have to be grouped up to receive that AoE healing, which is not what the comm wants to do, as you can tell, is the three extremely mobile people. Pelican going for this early Sonic Arrow, or early picks potentially on a Somper that was hiding out, but he doesn't find anything. Yeah, won't know where Ace is gathering information at the moment. Probably going to swap over onto a Sombra if it's almost to build it towards an EMP. It's a great snowball tool, of course. And that's Kaiser going for the information gather now. High leap, look up into the sky, see who's waiting for you. See Anna Cass on my Wrecking Ball. And because he's on the high ground inherently, he's going to have a very easy time getting the power driver he wants. Hmm. WGS. I want to see where Ace is, to be honest. He's going to be the main tool and facilitator here of the, a lot of these uh, team fights. Yeah, it doesn't like he is. Okay, yeah, there he is. So around the back, mega health pack. Is it hacked? That is also the question. Proper doing a lot of scouting here on Noah, who's basically alone at this point. He's going to get hacked away, but Gable C is going to meet him, so they can't take the one-on-one. -on -one. Kaiser came in the wrong door right there. They wanted to try and coalesce on a hack Noah, but didn't say if it was coming out of that particular door. Wow, yeah, what? Off the edge. How does that happen? How does that happen if you're Mianmong? You have to be so close to the edge. These edges aren't exactly the easiest thing to get booted into. Main healer now down for O2 Blast. Tick has been acquired. O2 Blast still managed to find one. How is WGS not capitalizing right now? They do manage to find proper eventually. Kaiser is going to fall as well. Okay, Mianmong is going to be able to get back rather swiftly. But Valentine just taking control of the skies. Pelican also going to fall. Yeah, those direct rockets will take quick work of a Brigida as she swings impotently with that flail. Up in the sky, you need a longer flail if you're going to hit up that Farah who's almost got a barrage ready to go. And guess what? O2 Blast don't really have anything to try and counter it. They're going to have to try and use their basic abilities. They'll have to be Krong with a defense matrix. We'll know that he's good at eating those. Or after have to be Myumbong with a sleep time. He still has control of this mega health pack. Prop wants to duel him out, but he's not going to win that duel when not only you're in the sightline of your Ana, but you also have that health pack. EMP available for Ace though. Translocator up in the air. EMP comes out. That's a couple of people hacked. Krong and Pelican instantly falling. Krong is in a lot of danger right now. Kaiser 2. One minute now remains for O2 Blast. There's going to be a big boob. Okay, Krong actually does manage to get dunked in the water, thankfully. He doesn't want to get staggered there at all. But O2 at Blast, one minute here. They got the ults online, Harry, but the question is, can they actually land it here? If WGS hide out, they could just stall this out long enough for their hacks to wear off. Those are the combos we'd love to see. EMP into Pile Driver and Bardic Grenade. No defense available from O2 Blast. They're going to have to deal with an EMP of their own now, though. Proper looking. He sees that everyone's spread out. What are his priority targets here? It's likely going to be the Pharmacy. Try and allow Kaiser to die for both. He's looking for them. Sit one in the air. Cancelled in the air. Doesn't want to go for it just yet. Gable C trying to find a stick. Lobs it in. Misses. But Manu is still going to go down. Young one two to follow as well. Remember, still managed to get the Nano off. But it can they do all of anything? I'm not entirely sure. Krong at least finds one. But Valentine with the pressure up in the skies with a barrage doesn't go down to all of anything. And now O2 Blast on the ropes. They've only got one tick on the board. Kaiser may be turning this one around though. He just does manage to find the kill on Ace. Valentine gets hacked as well. Oh, it's so perfect from O2 Blast. WGS once again falling at the final hurdle. They keep finding these initial picks, Harry. But they end up falling. O2 Blast are going to be able to cap. But have one attempt in capping 39% in order to win this game. And remember, this is winnable. They're allowing some extra time there to make sure that the spawns come through, get Krong involved right here. He's got himself a trip ready to go, and he got a great eat onto some of the barrage from Valentine right there. Still winnable for WGS. They can tie this up going into the half. They just need to hold 38% of this second point. O2 Blast are only going to have one attempt. They've got two ultimates, maybe three, to try and make this work with. But Ace, what? he's going to be able to shut them all down with an EMP. Sorry. 
He's going to get revealed almost instantly there. I think that was just a stray left click from the Arna. Riley's going to come in. And Akasa in the corner. EMP's going to come through though from WGS. O2 Blaster all hyped up. The prop's still available with his own. He sends the EMP sky high. And Pilbog is going to go down. Valentine's dead. And Akasa's going to fall as well. O2 Blast pushing everybody off the point. They claim the 39% and the match point as well. And that was exactly what needed to happen right there to make it work. They got the EMP onto both of the, uh, the pharmacy duo, they all just bullied Enercast in the corner who was trying to play his best bunker Arissa again. It was a great performance from both teams, actually. I love how WGS is sort of like trying to bring O2 Blast down to their level, just come roll with us with a shovel DPS because that's where we really have the skills that we need to try and take it to the brink. That was actually insane. And that was all on proper hiding away with the EMP. He knew that was their tool to actually win it. He hid away, didn't get EMP in himself, let out the biggest EMP of his life. Managed to, win the, managed to win the point and match point as well in the series. We're going to jump to a quick break, guys. Do not go anywhere. Map number three coming up soon.